Here we go. Game day. The Niagara Purple Eagles opened the regular season Friday, October 12th at Dwyer Arena with a matchup against the American International Yellow Jackets. Coach Lammer started off the night reminding the men of their mission and motivations for the season. Uh, yesterday's over. I just want to talk you through it. Is is out of love. All right, you guys have you guys need more hunger. And I'm sure that we're going to see it tonight. So, enough about last night. I'm sure we're going to see more hunger, but we're just so you know, we're doing that out of love for you guys cuz cuz we love you. And and you've set the bar with a mission and vision to prove people wrong. I don't even think we need, to me that's like one mission and vision, right? What, what else do we need to show people, right? But you, they're not gonna give it to you. They've proven that to you because they picked you where they picked you, all right? So you gotta go out with great hunger and prove it to them. You gotta work, Father just mentioned, you gotta work, and you're gonna have to earn it. They're not gonna give it to you. But then you're here with your gifts, your ABCs, to do great works, all right? Drew Brees, says it best here. You know, you can accomplish anything in life you're willing to work for. So, just, you know, nothing's given, everything's earned, but, um, you know, God has equipped us for great works, and I tell him that every night. Okay, great message for you guys. Great message for you. Starters, you get to start us off and show us how we're gonna work, how we're gonna earn it, and how you're made for great works. Coach? All right, boys, here's how we're going. Okay, we're going to start on the front. Sharpshooter from Edmonton, Alberta, Chris Briggs. Okay, we've got Silky Mitts, by the way, of Wellington, and he's from MISSIS AUGA, Ontario. <laughs> he's faster than the speed of light, and he loves the Stillers. From Pittsburgh, Eric Cooley. Okay, he's a sophomore, but this kid's not soft. Number four, Chris Harper. <laughs> okay, his partner tonight on the right side, he's got an A for assistant, and also the A on the apple he's going to get on the P for tonight, Noah Delmas. Okay, in the six by four, the two pillows on the legs, Brian Wilson. <laughs> Play for points here. Let's go. Oh. Hey, let's get one early. Push it, push it, push it. Push it. Oh, sorry. Talk it out. Talk it out. Oh. Offensive zone, three on three. Drop pass, top circle, cutting in, shot, score. And a transition goal. Three on three. Looks like it'll be Brennan Kapchek who gets it. They go five hole. It was a nice patient play from Kapchek who brought it into the zone. And it's a one nothing lead for the Jackets. Right back to it. And give it away right in front shot. Davidson scores. Well, Christensen jumped on a giveaway. And Davidson's the one that's Ends up with the goal, Darius Davidson. So a 2 0 lead for AIC. Quiet bench looked to regain the momentum after going down 2 0. Cooley forces the turnover out in front, comes into the slot, shot, and a yeah. score. No. We've got a penalty coming up, the red light's on. Niagara did score, it did go into the net. The question is, was it before it was off the moorings? I think that's a goal. Sophomore Jared Brandt pounced on a loose puck and scored his first goal as a Purple Eagle. Keep making plays on the entry. Keep making plays. Now to Delmas looking. Fires across. One timer. Oh, beautiful. 2 2 on the one timer. Niagara scores on the power play. Ludwig Stenley followed up by tying the game with his first collegiate goal. Four shot, and that'll be the end of the first. No. Buzzer rolls, and it is a first period in the books. Score is 2 2. Niagara 
And AI see it. At the intermission, the message was clear. Keep up the energy and continue attacking. Okay, guys, let's talk. Love the energy, love the response. Impressive. Let's go do it again. Rest up, be ready to go, okay? The season opener here from Dwyer. The 2-2 game, and now we switch sides. The Purple Eagles go left to right. Stop at the net! Stop at the net! Both behind the net! In front shot save. Another shot score! Second period, AIC has its lead back. AIC took back the lead in the second period. Coach Lammers kept up the motivation on the bench to attack the net. Block, block! Hey, here we go, here we go, here we go! There it is! Keep stopping at the net! Good job, keep stopping at the net! Good odd man there, huh? Good breakout, good odd man rush. Keep stopping at the net. Loose ones around them. He's got tongue up on the change, coach. Go get him! As the period wound down, the Purple Eagles found an answer to tie the game. Banked off the boards, back to Harper. Now for Delmas, a little bit of room for Delmas. Rips a shot and scores! Finds its way through the Purple Eagles. Even it up, it's 3-3. And that's the end of the second period. 3-3, three, three. we ended one at 2-2, two, two. we end number two at 3-3. Three, three. What a period, what a game, boys. What a period, what a game here, boys, let's go. I got a minute right on. Gotta get one here. An impressed coach Lammers went back into the break, liking what he had seen from his team. He's not getting out. Yeah, that's right. Jay, did you have to get one? Man, isn't this great, huh? Hockey game, third period, it's all about hunger, right? Everything we talked about before the game, you're going to work, you're going to earn it, and we're going to celebrate after, all right? But remember, it's our, our process here that not, needs to be good. I thought we did a real good job. Chrissy Harp's got one going north, edge skated into it. Really good job there. Uh, Spriggsy shoots through, we get a rebound. You guys are slinging some good pucks to the net, right at the appropriate times his feet, because he's a little off. So then there's a rebound there. Let's make sure we stop at the net. So let's keep doing what we do. All right, stay together, cheer each other on. Cool, be CEOs for each other, and let's go here. Have a good period. A tie game heading into the third period. The Purple Eagles look to maintain the momentum they had carried with them heading into the locker room after the second period. Right idea, Neeks. Right idea. Right idea. Right idea. Good track, J Bird. Good, good track. Plus one, Mill. Plus one, Mill. Into the corner, and that's going to do it for regulation. We're going to overtime. Love how hard you played that period. Love, carry it over now, huh? Love how hard you played. Gear up and involved. Forwards doing a good job. Releasing net, back and net. Great track. Really fast and trans. Don't rest on it now, though, right? Be hungry. Be hungry. Behind the net, Mills recovers and has it back. Mills looking, still looking. Slot. Ludwig scores! What a debut for Ludwig Stenland, his second, and Niagara wins it in overtime. Niagara opens with a win. They beat AIC 4-3, rallying from down 2-0 to win this game, a game they never led until the very end. 4-3 in overtime. Purple Eagles open with a win and a very promising performance up and down. Lots of impressive debuts.
A night full of impressive debuts led to an enthusiastic coach celebrating with the team. with the way he responded from yesterday and then to be down two and come all the way back and do that guys you're, you're going to prove people wrong here now okay now challenges we're going to outscience them right we're going to outscience them and now we need to stay humble and hungry right let's not get too it's really hard in this league to win two all right so let's take care of our bodies be humble and then bring that hunger again tomorrow night because that's fun to watch man that is fun to watch. But great games. Let's get right back. Ah. Each year, the Purple Eagles welcome back graduates of the program for Alumni Weekend. This year, a collective group of former Purple Eagles came back to play in a pickup alumni game at the barn they used to call home. With stories of plenty and laughs all around, Graduates of the 2006 and former goaltender Jeff Van Nynatten decided to ditch the goalie pads for a new set of gear and took the ice as a player. Cuckoo! No backhand with that stick. Straight cheddar. Holmesy. Good, good knowing you. You just been traded to White. He's going to get a jersey. I'm gonna need you moving things around. I want to see at least a couple apples today. Yeah. We get the win, 20 bucks, okay? How's it? Yeah. That's my guy. Rebounds. Yep, yep, yep. Cecil, keep going. Wholesale. Cecile, quit doing interviews. Five, four, white. This is gonna go down to the wire. How many periods are in this hockey game? Two is plenty, eh? In the end, the team skated to a 9-8 game with a white team victory. A friendly game ended with chatter on the ice that they used to call home and parting messages to current players at the program. Welcome everybody. Welcome to Dwyer Arena here up at Niagara University as we get set. Later that night, the Purple Eagles hosted AIC in the second game of a back-to-back. -back. After last night's victory in overtime, Coach yeah, exactly. Lammers looked to set the tone early in the locker room with the team and to you, maintain huh? the you, urgency you, to not you. look too far ahead. This uh, spring, guys, remember you read this book, right? Guys, attorney guys, remember this book? One of the things that we thought was really cool when you guys mentioned was milestones. So we had a milestone last night, right? We got one, okay, we got one. But now your challenge is to be here and not be thinking about something too big, too far away. Be here where your feet are, okay, be here. So you guys gotta be ready to push now. Does that make sense to everybody? Okay, and now we get more practice to prove people wrong. And the other part is, at some point, when we do what we want to do and we prove people wrong, you're going to have to win a second game to end somebody's season. So what great practice tonight to end somebody's weekend and send them home on a long trip. And remember okay. what we talked about last night, you got to work, you're going to need to earn it tonight, and you're all built to do great things. Let's do it, okay? Soon after Niagara and AIC to the ice for the second game of their series in front of former Purple Eagles and alumni watching along. Come on, come on. Be hungry here. Be hungry on your chances. Be hungry. Come on, come on, come on. Clay Wilson's out of position and they score. Blake Christensen caught Brian Wilson turning around and didn't know where the puck was. And on the power play, AIC has a 1 0 lead. 
A sluggish first start came about with AIC taking a 1-0 lead into the period. Coach Lammers was not impressed and made his message clear quickly and swiftly. Good enough, right? I heard you guys talking that, that ain't, that's not gonna that's not gonna get it done. Okay, if you touch a puck, you gotta catch the fucking puck. The guy can't give you a perfect pass all the time. Be ready to shoot a puck. Be ready to shoot off the pass. We we you guys said more urgency, more hunger, way more guys. Like, come on here, man. You're you're way better than this. You're way better than this. Come on, come on. You got more. You got more. You know it. We know it. Let's go do it. Okay, get yourself ready. Go have a period now. We're minute 40 on the peeper. Okay, we're, we're hey, it's only one goal game. And that, that is not our best yet. Right? So we've got two periods of our best to come. Okay, get ready. Get ready. Go back. Dylan Mills picked up a loose puck to knock the game at 1-1, but AIC quickly struck right back, making it 2-1. Out of way, out of way, that's us forwards, that's us forwards. The goal is Jackson from weird angle, that was a pass to the goal, and it fooled everybody. Hold on, don't line up yet, don't line up yet, don't line up yet, don't line up yet. Line up yet. Challenge it, we want to challenge the offsides, yep. Offside? Yeah, offside. Yeah, offside. The decision was made to quickly challenge the play for offsides, but to no avail. AIC maintained its one goal lead heading into the intermission. An entertaining period of play. Yep, it's definitely uh, a better second 20 minutes of play from Niagara's perspective. Unfortunately, they net out still down by one, but a much better pace of play to bring into the third. Where's this goalie? He's not seeing anything. He's reaching behind him every shot. We got it here. This puck's on net. Okay, but all that's predicated on work. You're, you're like, just one more step, and I think it's going to, like, really quick for us. Okay? All right, come on. Great energy, great enthusiasm, great passion, great hunger for a great weekend here. Come on. Come on. You can do this. Purple Eagles began the next period one shot away from the time and kept up the momentum and the pace of play. Hey, one play, you're one play away. You're one play away. One play away. Ryan Wilson made some key saves down the stretch. But Niagara eventually needed the extra attacker. Who's got Wilson? Who's got Wilson? Yep. It didn't work, as AIC popped home an empty net goal to take the game 3-1. Quiet and upset locker room pondered on what could have been for the weekend. On the next episode of Uncommon, Niagara University travels to Robert Morris University as we settle into Atlantic Hockey League play. The team begins to enter into the ebb and flow of a long hockey season as we return home then for a weekend series with Holy Cross. The following weekend, Niagara goes on a home and home for the biggest rivalry of the year with the Purple Eagles with the team south of the bridge. Want to see the Eagles taking flight up close and personal and the action that makes us uncommon? Purchase your tickets today 
by calling the box office at 716-286-8607.